guys, how are we? And I hope everybody is well. Good morning from a quiet Port des Torrent beach. It's 9 a.m. and I thought I'd start today's vlog here on Port des Torrent beach before it gets busy, because in a few hours, you will have hundreds of people down here enjoying the beach, taking a swim and going for lunch in one of the many restaurants. And in this vlog, I wanted to go into detail about the resort of Port des Torrent. It is a small resort, but it has a lot to offer. But for now, let's go explore some of the other places. Port des Torrent is on the west coast of Ibiza. It's about a 10 to 15 minute drive from the resort of San Antonio, and it is a continuation of San Antonio Bay. It takes about 25 minutes to get here from the airport, and within 15 minutes, you have some fantastic beaches of Calabasa, Calaconta, and Cala Torida. Port des Torrent is a relatively small resort, but it is home to some apartments, some huge hotels, some private villas. You also have lots of amazing restaurants on the beach and a little further back, you have some cafes and bars. And even just behind me, you have the Hotel Sea View, which is one of the most popular hotels. And inside there, you have a 4,500 square meter water park, which maybe I will uh, get my speedos out later and see if I can show you inside the water park. As I mentioned, the resort is quite small and I've just walked one kilometer to the top of what I would call the resort. And I will do this part quite quick because I'm stood on a roundabout. I just want to show you the directions. Here you have San Antonio, San Jose, and that's the way you'd come to the airport or from the airport. And then moving around, you have Escuku Supermarket, a great supermarket with a carniceria, a butcher's inside. And then you have in this direction, the restaurant itself. I was there in a recent vlog a couple of months back and I'll put the link back up to that one now. Recommend chicken and chips in there. And then further on in that direction, you have Calabasa, Calaconta, Calaterida, and also some other great beaches. We also have a three bedroom villa, which is just on that hillside there. Great for families and amazing views at sunset. I was planning to pop in Escuku for a, a drink because the final part of the walk up from the the beach is quite steep, um, but it's closed on a Tuesday, which I always forget that. And you often find that with places uh, here in Ibiza and in Spain that are open all year round. They just decide to close one day a week to give all the staff um, a well-deserved break, I suppose. We head back down that in that direction towards the beach. I'll find somewhere else for a coffee. Just to add to that, the section where the slight incline is, is at the top of the resort. So don't worry if you're in the main area of Port des Torrent. It's a super family friendly resort. So where the hotels of the Sea View, the Aura, the Occidental are, it's, it's flat, it's close to the beach, close to the sea. So you will be fine. And guys, as you are watching this vlog, please do let me know in the comments box below if you have been to Port des Torrent before, if you have, if you've got any tips, or if you haven't and you're thinking of coming to Port des Torrent and you have any questions, just drop me a message in the comments box below. And then just a five minute walk back down into the resort center and I'm opposite the Hotel Occidental. And then along here, you have lots of souvenir shops or several souvenir shops, little restaurants, supermarket. Don't buy any lilos from back home, get them when you get here. And then here is a restaurant called Leone's. I often eat in there. Great food, great people. Maybe I'll go back in later um, and show you one of the dishes from inside Leone's. You then have another restaurant which opens back up in the evening called the Magon. I will try come back around this area in the evening when uh, there's a little bit more life and you can see a different side to it. Port des Torrent is waking up now. It's just after 10.30. Here you have a boutique hotel called Ses Pretreras. It has no more than 10 rooms inside there. And they also have a fantastic restaurant that anyone can visit. Heading down now to the main crossroads area of Port des Torrent. And I definitely think it is time now for a little bit of breakfast, a coffee and a tostada. And I'm gonna head to the Hotel Bahia. This is a great little spot at the heart of Port des Torrent. It's a family run hotel. Great food all throughout the daytime, a pool area, terrace, 
outside the front and also a terrace by the pool. They also have menu del dias, which are about 14 euros, three courses, and uh, I think it's one of the best in the area. They have a menu here, let's have a look. So yeah, three courses for 13.50, that's not bad. I've gone for tostada with jamon serrano. You will have a little bit of tomato on the base. Orange juice, cafe con leche, and then we've got a pool view. Also guys, I have bought some new sunglasses and I don't know if you've seen them, but they are called Ray-Ban Stories and they actually have cameras in the lenses so you can take videos and you can take photos. I haven't really used them before, but I was hoping to on this vlog to check out the quality and uh, just get a little bit of use out of them. So I'm going to put them on now and see what it's like. Maybe after here, I can try go into the Occidental and just have a look around. Often they don't let you in unless you're a guest there, but it's worth a try. So the next bit of footage will be the glasses and me trying to get into the Occidental. Well, I failed at that. Must learn how to use these uh, properly. So I thought it was recording. And when I went to stop it recording, it started. That's the hotel for here where we had breakfast. In that direction, we have San Antonio Bay and San Antonio. That is where we just come from. That direction is towards Calabasa and Calaconta. And so this is the main crossroads. We have a cat which is always sat on this wall. Not sure if it will be there when you are. But anyway, uh, bus routes, that's what I was going to say about. There's a bus stop just at that crossroads and Port d'Estrenne is served very well by the public buses. Every half an hour, they go all the way from Calabasa, Calaconta, Calaterida, along the bay into San Antonio to the main bus station. So it's only about 15, 20 minutes on the bus. You can also get the bus direct from the airport and I think it costs about four euros. So if you aren't hiring a car, you don't want to use taxis, buses are always an option for you. This cafe is not open at the moment, but it usually is. Don Quixote, just a cheap and cheerful place. Sandwiches, burgers, cheap beer. Then here you have the Camelina Suites. Inside there they have bungalows, one bedroom departments and two bedroom departments. Portes Torrent is going green. That's a new electric car charging station there. Here we have a big car park, that's for Alma Beach. These were only put up a few years ago because uh, camper vans, motorhomes were using this as a place to stay the night, which you would do because you're only 30, 40 meters away from the beach. And I just want to show you this place behind me because it's pretty unique. Ibossum. It's a brew house and a serviceria, which is a place where you can get um, craft beers, craft ales. And uh, this is the only place in Ibiza that is where the beer is brewed and distributed here. So it's the beer of Ibiza. They have seven of their own beers. I've tried most of them and they are pretty strong. So be careful if you attempt all seven. I will definitely come back out in the evening um, when there's a little bit more life because obviously everyone now is sunbathing by the pool on the beach because it is 27 degrees and it's just before half past 11. Then here you have a fantastic restaurant called the Viejo Gallo. And honestly, this is one of my favorite meat restaurants on the island. Steak is amazing. Let's have a look at the menu in English. They have everything from Bouy de Peche, which is almost like a paella, but it's typical of a beefa. Can be quite expensive looking down there if you go for the lobster stew, 155. But they have plenty, that's 155 per kilo, but then they have plenty of reasonable price dishes. I always go for the fillet steak. So yeah, as you can see, for a small resort, you have got plenty of choice. 
even if you're only here for a couple of weeks. Even if you are staying all inclusive, I do recommend just to get out and about and at least once or twice during your stay, visit one of these local restaurants. You have another bar here called True. I've never been in that one though. And then you have a little supermarket here. And this is the closest supermarket to the beach. If anyone's into the scuba diving, you have seahorse diving here. This place has been here for a very long time, well established. And then you're down on the beach. As you can see, we started the vlog here a couple of hours ago. So much more busier than then. Look at that guys, you can't argue that is pretty impressive. Look at the colour of the water, it is amazing. That is where we have just come down, walked across the beach. I just want to say, make sure if you're here, you go check out around this side. Um, it looks like it's just all rocks, but there are tracks that take you through there. Just follow it around for about 15 minutes, and I hope you can see uh, there are some fishermen's huts just along there. And that is a great spot just to put your towels down, go swimming, snorkeling. If you've got kids, it's very safe. You can just go swimming and snorkeling around these rocks. So we are now at the right side of the beach. Look up there, you can see the activity park from the sea view. Amazing if you've got teenagers. Then this section here is where the water taxis come in every hour pick you up and they can take you into San Antonio and I think it's about three or four euros a person so a great way to do a little cruise. This place uh, only takes 10 minutes to walk around but if you're into your running or you just like walking this is a great li little route to do if you're staying at these hotels. Activity park there. Over this way in a second is you will see San Antonio just appearing. And if you are feeling adventurous, here you can go snorkeling as well, just from the rocks. But of course, be careful. Along this section, you have some pretty cool rooms. They have the individual swim up pools. I think last time in one of the vlogs, I was trying to get up over the wall just to have a look, but I can't do that today because everyone's sunbathing. So behind me, that is the Hotel Sea View, and I would say that is perhaps the most popular hotel here in Port des Tarent. It has everything you need. It's super family friendly, four star, all inclusive. You have all the sports facilities, gym, sauna, jacuzzi, whirlpool, several restaurants inside and out, which I'll show you a few more of them when I walk around in a second. Various types of accommodation from studios, one bedroom department, and you also have the rooms with a swim up pool. And the Sea View was actually the first place that I worked many years ago when I first came to Ibiza. I was a holiday rep for air tours in there. So that seems a long time ago. Passing the Hotel Aura now. This one is like a, it's like a small village. You have several of these apartment blocks, three stories high. Uh, and lush gardens inside so this is a this was built a few years after the hotel sea view and again at the end these were added i don't know maybe 10 years ago now these are more upmarket rooms with uh, swim up pools as well as i say 10 minutes walk just around the coast and we're back onto the main road this direction is san antonio bay i'm not going to go there today but within five or ten minutes walk you have places like Kumaras to watch the sunset, Campuyol Fish Restaurant and then all of the places in, in the bay. Many restaurants and many bars. We're going to head that way in a second. I just wanted to show you here you have, it's a children's fun park. Uh, anyone can use this, it's public. And then I don't know if you can see over there, 
but you have some barbecues and it's quite popular here in Ibiza that at the weekend, Saturday and Sundays, all the families, the local families will come down and just set up a barbecue, bring your own meat. The kids can play all along here. So if you guys are here, make sure you check this out at the weekends. That's the entrance to the Hotel Aura, which I keep saying is side by side to the sea view. Both of them are Serenis hotels, but the Aura is a Tui Blue and the sea view is a Serenis one. There we go, you can see the start of the water park. And then across this side of the road, you have a few little uh, amenities, locales, shops, different restaurants, different restaurants which you can choose from if you're staying in either of the two hotels. You also have a laundrette, a supermarket, and a doctor's. Let's hope we don't need those anymore. That sign's been there since I was a holiday rep. I remember having my air tours photo taken outside there. Entrance into the Seaview Holiday Village. I'm not gonna try to get in there because I know they have a security guard on the door checking out for wristbands, but I will try to get in there and get to the water park to show you guys um, that. So that was the coastal loop around the two hotels. Now head back to the beach, which is just down there. Directly opposite, you have a bus stop and the buses go every hour and they take you back that way into San Antonio. Walking down to the beach and whatever this is, it's new. I would say within the last week or so, it wasn't here. I've seen these in other parts of Spain before. It's a UV indicator, although there's no lights on it today, so I don't think it's working. 100 meters or so and you're back down at the beach. Just want to show you this part as well because it took me a long time, many years to find it out but it's behind Alma Beach. If you're feeling a bit adventurous, this track here is about half an hour route, but it's really, really interesting. It is quite challenging, but obviously Port des Torrent was uh, the mouth of where the, the river or the torrent came from. And that's where it was. If you're bored of sunbathing and you got a spare hour, I recommend heading down there. Back at the Hotel Sea View, Portis Turin, quick change into the Ibiza Hyatt t-shirt and I'm gonna head down there now to meet the family. There are 22 people in total with children. It's a five hour charter. We're getting picked up from the Hotel Sea View. They have supplied all their own drinks, got a few little nibbles, crisps and snacks going on board for them. But they're heading out on a boat called the Torrenova. Five hours, we'll stay out till the sunset, explore the west coast, mask, snorkels, paddle boards. Should be a good afternoon. I'm not heading out with them on this one. I'm gonna concentrate on making this vlog for you guys. And uh, I've, I'm gonna treat myself to lunch at Alma Beach. So I'm really looking forward to that. Also from that jetty, you can do water sports, banana boats, ringos, all that kind of thing. So you do have activities on Port des Torrent Beach. Speaking of activities, I'm going to Alma Beach now for some lunch. Hi, Hi. Uh, I have a reservation just for two people at four o'clock. Yes, ah, thank you. Hola, I have a reservation just for two people at four o'clock. Yeah, yes. I know. Okay, whatever you want. Yeah? Okay, cool. Thank you. Just go here. So that was Alma Beach, finally made it there and really enjoyed that. It was a great spot for lunch, right on the beach, relaxing, great atmosphere, some great music. Um, the menu has all fish, different meats on there, some salads, you have an Asian section to the menu. It is quite expensive with the main courses going from 20 to 35, 40 euros, but um, as a one-off, you pay for the setting, pay for the ambience, so definitely give it a thumbs up. I had the Lubina, which is the sea bass, and that came with vegetables, 
And then Antonia, she had the lamb and that also came with vegetables, so really nice. And then just a coffee to top it off. So I am full, a great way to spend the afternoon. Well, we came a couple of hours after sunrise and now the sun has just set. So I thought I'd come back down to the beach just to show you what it's like at this time of night. It is quite quiet at the moment, bearing in mind we are towards the end of September. Okay guys, I'll just show you a few clips of Port Des Torrent at night time. Some of the places we visited earlier, see what they're like in the evening. If you are still watching this vlog guys, it is greatly appreciated because I think it is gonna turn into quite a long one, but I really wanted to go into detail about Port des Torrent and show you my guide to Port des Torrent. Have a little bit of a confession to make. I never made it to the water park at the Hotel Sea View, but I have looked through some old footage and I do have some clips, some photos, some videos. So I will pop those up now for you. And if you aren't staying at the Hotel Sea View, you can still use the water park and it is cheaper if you go after two or three o'clock in the afternoon, which still gives you plenty of time to enjoy it. And speaking of enjoying things, I do hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Um, Port des Torrent is a beautiful place. Please let me know in the comments box if you have been here before or if you are thinking or if I hope this vlog has helped you in some ways. So, okay guys, I'm gonna leave the vlog there. Once again, thank you. Please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do as it does help to support the channel and help the channel grow. Also, I am on Instagram. If anybody wants to follow me there, uh, send me a direct message if you've got any uh, questions, need any tips or advice, and I will do my best to answer those. So thank you once again, guys, and I will see you on the next vlog. I will now leave you with some footage that I never used in the vlog, and I hope you enjoy.